What is that? Oh, he's on there. Okay, here's what up. I've got uh, a John boat, battery trolling motor, check, check. Uh, I've got anchor. I've got plenty of rope. I've got hooks and leaders. I've got a buoy to hold it up straight. I've got bait, check. I've got a rod if I would decide to fish. I've got some worms. I think we're good to go really trying to accomplish is just to find out what's in that lake. I really don't know what it is. We don't know if uh, the catfish survived the last few years. We don't know if uh, it's bass and brim and shell crackers and they've just gone deep because there's more vegetation down there. We don't know if it's plecos that have taken over. We don't know if cichlids that have taken over or anything. Maybe that little uh, cheap thing was malfunctioning and there's nothing down there. Well, I'm gonna try to find out. Gotta get the gate if I uh, don't want to have to go chasing cows tonight, cards or whatever. The last thing you want is an 11 o'clock or midnight phone call to go get cows out, especially since my two uh, emergency wranglers, Raleigh and Ben, are skiing in Colorado to uh, me, myself, and I. And uh, Kimball is uh, not yet much of a cow hand, so. We've had cows get on out on I-95 before, ever since I was a kid. Three, four, five hundred cows on the interstate, trying to stop traffic and keep people from getting killed and cows from getting killed. It's quite a fun day. Get up there. like eastbound and down we're really kind of like westbound and down at about 2.2 miles an hour got some big horsepower on the back here look at the size of that dragonfly whatever that is something's gonna eat him anyway, westbound and down at like two miles an hour in the minnow and i got some finger mullet which i think will be good for catfish but I think the real deadly weapon is the fresh chicken nuggets. Alright. First set of hooks. I think the chicken liver is going to be the bomb. I think that's the, the ticket here because I, I think we're dealing with some 
catfish. Okay, honestly, I'm excited. Anytime I set a trap or a game camera or something, or I've got to come back the next day, that's exciting because you think about it all night. What's going to be in there? What's going to be in there? And I've never wrangled the Loch Ness Monster, so this is going to be cool. Usually it's not as good as what you uh, imagine, but today it's going to be awesome. We're going to get something massive out of there with all those hooks. How could we not? Just do it. It's going to be a lot to pull. Hopefully I can get to the rope before the weight is really on there. I'm gonna have to hook it and pull it. Man, I made that sucker heavy. You know, instead of just sitting there talking, you could help. Because I really don't want to have to put the boat in. You don't have to. Please don't break. Just at least get it up to the hard, the stronger rope. Oh, Ooh, I got something. I got something out there. I see it. I got something on the line. It might have been a turtle. Ooh, and he's swimming, I think. No way. Oh, this is cool. Nice. They're little fish. I bet they're little fish. I need to reset these with tiny hooks. Maybe he is. I see him. Is that, what is that? No, that's bait. Well, all the hooks have certainly gotten pulled around. What is that? Oh, he's on there. Check that out. Oh, oh he's big. Mm. Well, I only have one gun. I didn't think to bring a little pistol or anything. Do another little episode of the turtle trapping. Getting cooked up somehow. Okay. Circle hook action. The best for turtles. need to go clean this thing because that's a big deal to me whenever I kill something even a deer I like to have them dressed and cooling and on ice within 45 minutes that to me the venison just tastes totally different than any other venison you know I like to get it cooled down immediately I don't like to let it sit so I apply that rule to anything that I'm gonna eat that I kill myself uh, I want it I want it on ice within 45 minutes. I enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed watching it, please hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments below. My sons and friends and I do a lot of hunting, fishing, and trapping on the ranch. We hunt hogs and coyotes at night with thermals, trap them, bass fish, kill turkey and deer, and hunt snipe and quail and whatever else occurs to us. If you like that stuff, let me know and I'll make more.